Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your weekly reading for July 19th through 25th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes and your fabulous energy. Just a reminder, this is a general reading so not all the messages that come out will apply to everybody. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So this week we have a full moon Thank you. In Aquarius, coming up on the 22nd, 23rd of July, depending where you are in the world. And the full moon in Aquarius, you know, um, first and foremost, this is a time of expansion, of growth, of opportunities headed your way. You may start to see some of the results of your manifestations that you put into place at the beginning of the year. All right, long ago, as we all know, sometimes manifestations, right place, right time, right? Sometimes they come about really, really fast and other times uh, they do um, take a while to come in. It's all about divine timing and uh, it's all about things being in alignment for you. So the stars are starting to align for you here. And so be open to new possibilities, um, new opportunities, new people, places, things, situations, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so feels wonderful. Things are starting to flood your way. You may also be feeling a little bit rebellious in a situation. Okay, you may be just be feeling just that uh, you may feel a little bit more pep in your step. You may just feel a little bit saucy, okay, in the week in the week ahead and even in the month ahead because the end of August, we also have another full moon in Aquarius. So two full moons in a row, both in Aquarian energy. So you may find yourself finding innovative ways of uh, solving problems, finding solutions. Um, your, you know, you may have also with full moons being about surrender, detachment, you may be finding it a little bit easier at the moment to detach from a situation that has that is either no longer part of your future no longer part of your personal growth or something that's been holding you back so you might just get flashes of inspirations epiphanies and your intuition is totally on point in the month ahead as well all right so um, we have, I'm just getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, so let's start off here. We've got the queen of the moon coming out for you. And this is sovereignty. I love this card cancer. This is exactly what we're just talking about. You have what it takes. The buck stops with you. You are certainly sitting in your personal sense of power at the moment. Okay. Not an abuse of power. Okay. Positive power. All right. You have what it takes to get the job done. All right. You no pussyfooting around, no willy nilly, no wishy washy energy. Okay. You, this is your time to grow. This is your time to expand. Okay. And you have the ability to get it done. Whatever that you've been putting off right now. Okay. This is when you're putting the ball in motion. You're getting things. You're starting, you may feel a little bit more energetic. Okay, to really move forward with something. Your time of contemplation from that new moon we had in your sign a couple of weeks back. Okay, that's your period of contemplation. And now you're like, no, now I'm in expansion mode 101. All right, you are getting things done. You're making positive change in your life. And, you know, this full moon, you know, full moons are quite often about um, letting things go, surrender, making those positive change, right? And you got that ball, got that, you, excuse me, you got that ball rolling a couple weeks back, right? So whatever area in your life that you are thinking of doing something, now is the time, okay? You're really in that sense of personal power there. When we get the queen of the moon energy, okay, you may also find yourself in a position where you can speak up, you can speak your mind, you may also be find yourself in a position where you feel um, the need to advocate for other people. You are the leader of the pack. You have emotional intelligence and you also have the ability to articulate yourself incredibly well, get your point across in a very positive, very powerful, very profound way. So you may find yourself, it could be a workplace situation, it could be something in your relationships, a personal issue, something along those lines where you may find yourself like kind of in mama bear mode, right? Doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're very much in connection with your emotions at the moment, very much in tune with the moon, all right? And, you know, you have the ability to get the point across, but also keep your emotions in check as well. Okay, but you just, something just may be stirred in you that gives you that oomph, 
it's like, no, enough is enough. If you're in a toxic workplace situation, you may be the one, you got a trail of employees all behind you, all following you. you follow the leader. You are the leader in everything that you do. We have time to go. So in keeping with the energy of a full moon, some of you are leaving a situation, you're making plans, you're not necessarily this week leaving per se. Some of you may be in that position, especially if you've been in that contemplation energy with uh, that we started with that new moon in Cancer. Okay, but some of you are really making plans to leave something behind to go it alone. This can be a job situation, a um, relationship, something, a personal issue of some sort. This can also be old, leaving old belief systems, old versions of yourself behind. You're ready for something new. You're stepping in, you're walking down this path, and you're ready to step through this portal. It's card 45, it reduces down into hermit energy, into card 9, which is um, a solitary energy. All right, but now, right now with the queen of the moon energy coming out, if you need to make bold cha cha changes, okay, and you need to surrender something, break free of something, all right, go it alone in a situation, this queen of the moon energy really does give you the power, the personal power and the control over your emotions and your words to be able to do that. So some of you may be making those kinds of decisions, but again, it can also be something within you. All right, something that has just sparked within you that just gives you that better sense of self, that personal growth, right? You're leaving your own um, parts of yourself behind so that you can achieve a different direction or you can um, experience that personal growth that shifts you into a different kind of energy. And we're always growing. We're always evolving as human beings. We've got the Empress. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. The Three of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Wands there as well. Advice, Death Card, Outcome, Two of Swords. And we also have Hanged Man there with the Chariot. There we go. <clears throat> Cancerian Energy coming out there with the Chariot. So no matter what happens... Okay, no matter what you're going through, you've got a great self sense of self and self-confidence there. Okay, you've got a lot of determination this week. Okay, look at this powerful energy that we've got for you. All right, and very much in keeping with that sovereignty energy, that queen of the moon. Nurturing, fertility, the empress energy is about love, care. Um, it's also about um, growth starting something new, the queen of pentacles, nurturing the three of pentacles, leadership, the three of wands, waiting for the right opportunity. All right. So certainly at the start of the week, there may be something, there may be something in your workplace that's starting to brew. And by the end of the week, you may really be taking the lead, taking control, taking charge um, of a situation. And you may actually be really stepping into a leadership role. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have a job as a leadership role that can be in a relationship, a family situation as well. Okay, It could also be, um, you know, a friend with your friends as well, right? But um, you really are kind of in mama, papa, bear mode. You're really very much in, in connection with your emotions, with your feminine side. This full moon energy really is starting to come in here for you. The Empress, this is love, self-love, self-care, but also the love of others. New relationships, friendships, this is a period of growth, of expansion for you. And if you see here, we've got the world, right, giving birth to something new, a new opportunity, a new cycle. And this is in this card here is very much connected to this full moon. So this full moon is very important for you to really get things off the ground. You may be feeling very creative at the moment as well. Um, this is also a time where abundance flows towards you. Okay. You have what it takes to blossom and to grow not only just within yourself, but also in your situation. Okay. So, um, really is a very wonderful, very powerful energy. Some of you may be considering starting a family possibly, all right. Um, some of you may be starting, maybe falling in love. Okay. Making improvements in your, uh, romantic relationships there as well. All right. But, um, you know, you just may be feeling really creative, um, in the week ahead, really tapped into the planetary energies here. And this is again, that time of 
growth of expansion for you, new beginnings, okay, new versions of yourself and um, just really a wonderful energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, which is an energy of success, abundance, prosperity. It is also one of nurturing your connections and those around you. Um, it's, you know, certainly can be you sitting and look how happy she is. She's just like, oh yeah, baby, I got this, right? That is one hell of a sense of self right there with that Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you may be really sitting in your own personal sense of self-worth. You're very confident in your abilities, okay, but you're also very grounded, you're very connected um, with yourself and with nature, the planet right now, right, the empress over here is about being connected with nature as well, all right, so some of you may really find solace in nature, if you're really confused and you're not sure what to do, um, you know, and you just need to go out and clear your head, you may actually find yourself going out into nature, going for a walk, um, taking the dog out, sitting in the park, watching the clouds and, you know, kind of really grounding yourself before taking action on something, um, you know, really trying to get a little bit of clarity, a little bit of focus. But the Queen of Pentacles um, being that energy of nurturing, okay, this may be a really time to, uh, a good time to nurture your ideas, yourself, but also um, situations, people around you as well. The Queen of Pentacles is very much connected to home and home is where the heart is, but home doesn't necessarily have to be where you live, okay? That can also be your place of business as well, especially if you work with a tight-knit group of people or if you um, lead a group of people as well, okay? It's like your own little department there, your own little uh, minions that are around you, okay? You're certainly in that, in that role there. If you are looking for a new job, okay, it feels like opportunities are starting to open up for you, okay? Ones that really do really are in alignment with your skills and abilities. All right. We've got the three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, working together. Um, you may actually find yourself again in that leadership role. All right. You may be imparting your wisdom, your knowledge, okay, your leadership capabilities onto other people. Okay. This can, um, you know, in this card, we don't know if these are adults or their children. It doesn't really matter. Someone is the leader. Someone is the follower. So you may find yourself, um, you know, really uh, taking lead, taking control, taking charge of something okay you may be considering um you may be considering here it looks like you need to perhaps teach somebody something all right and it's like you're working together but your skills and abilities you have the opportunity to build people up and to elevate them all right and sometimes that is uh, a lot most of the time actually that is the sign of a wonderful leader is someone who is is not afraid to put their own ego aside and take care of other people, right? With success by elevating others. And that is emotional intelligent leadership, right? We, you know, we don't lead with ego. We don't lead with pride. All right. We have what it takes to get the job done. All right. But we lead with a bit of compassion and, you know, that sign of, you know, in my experience, my many years of experience, um, one of my key indicators of a really good manager is number one, someone who gives their people the tools that they need to succeed. Someone who doesn't have to micromanage every little thing. Yes, there's there's decisions that need to be made from a higher level, okay, but the day-to-day -day work, you don't need to get involved in every single little thing, right? That is actually a sign of insecurity, and that is actually a control thing, okay, a control mechanism in there, all right? But that's one of the signs of a good manager. Another sign of someone that is, you know, really a very good manager as well is, yes, get the job done, all those mundane things, but also one that elevates their people. Manage up or manage out, right? And we have the most success when we can mentor and manage people up. So you may find yourself in that kind of position and that may be one of your goals, right? And if you don't, if you're not already in that position, that may be something that you are striving to achieve. 
the Three of Pentacles, we can also find ourselves in a position where we actually need to get more information. So you may actually be seeking out somebody that you can actually learn something from. This can be a mentor of some sort. Okay, it can be a friend. It doesn't really matter. But someone who you can kind of bounce some ideas off of. Okay, someone you can really collaborate with, you can really get on board with, okay? Um, certainly, certainly there is career coming out here for you guys, all right, but there's also um, relationships coming out, and of course, we also have relationships within our careers as well, but this can also be you in making improvements to your life situation, personal growth, um, you know, making some positive change, okay, or making improvements in your life or just paying a little bit closer attention to the things that are near and dear to your heart. By the end of the week, we've got the Three of Wands energy, which is an energy of expansion, growth, um, waiting for the next opportunity. You know what you want, okay, and you just are waiting for the right time. It's a little bit of a timing energy, all right. Um, it's also one of following your passions and your dreams, You've got both feet planted on the ground there, but it is one of, you know, I mean, in this particular deck there, this person is sitting there with the surfboard waiting for the perfect wave, the perfect time, the perfect opportunity, and then boom, making the, making the mark, right? Going for the, going for the gold, right? Making those, um, making those positive change, perhaps even walking away with that time to go, right? Or, you know, we don't want to necessarily think of it walking away, okay? It can be running towards something that is exciting, that is positive, that is new. The Three of Wands can sometimes be an energy of travel, all right? So some of you are perhaps making some travel plans this week, okay? There's, you're getting your ducks in a row, and this could be something that, you know, you could be taking your kids with you if you've got kids, and, uh, you know, there you are. You're going on some little bit of an adventure by the end of the week, right? Just something a little bit more practical in there, okay? So you could really be getting yourself prepared um, throughout the week there, and uh, and there you are, boom, going on. It could be, um, you may just go on a spur of the moment, actually, with that Three of Wands, Okay, especially if you've had a work week where you've really given a lot of energy, a lot of input, um, you know, it's been something where you've been very focused all week and by the weekend you could really just find yourself wanting to get outside, go on an ascent, go on an adventure somewhere, perhaps a road trip. Um, you know, you might be going to visit some friends, visit some family somewhere. Okay, you might even um, quite in a quite literal sense go to the beach. All right. Um, but really that three of wands is an energy of uh, keeping your options open, waiting for right opportunities, keeping your eyes peeled, all right, for something to come in for you, right? If you're working on, if you have manifestations that you have been working on, okay, or that you have um, been waiting to come to fruition there, this is uh, this is you. You just may have some spidey sense that there's change in the wind, that there's something coming in here for you. Your advice from spirit is the death card, okay? And this is to find your to find your stability, to find your way forward. Change may be required. You're not the same person that you were three months ago, six months ago, a year and a half ago, pre-pandemic even. Some of your values, your priorities may have changed, especially if you have new love or if you've got children or you're expanding your family or anything like that. And there's change in the wind for you. Transformation, this is a time a very powerful time for you coming into your own sense of self, your self-worth, your well-being, okay, knowing who you are and cleaning things up, right? Some of you may be making some very huge, very powerful, profound changes in your life, but for others of you, this is changes within yourself and spirit says embrace the change, all right, go with the flow. Don't resist anything. If you really have the spidey sense and you know in your heart that leaving and leaving a situation is the best thing to do for your future and for your own sense of self, for your own growth, right, then that's what you need to do. All right, do you find yourself in a situation, a job situation that, you know, it may be okay and you may have been very successful, but, you know, perhaps there's something better out there that is a little bit more in line with your goals and what you want to achieve. So there may be some, you know, this is that really wonderful, powerful, magical time of growth for you. All right. And we already see that coming out in your cards there. So <clears throat> yes, thank you. All right. So your outcome energy, see if I can hold all three of these without dropping them. Okay. The two of swords, 
you're at a crossroads in your life. You're making some decisions, okay? Um, the hanged man is an energy of um, going within, looking at things from every angle, every perspective, okay? Really connecting with your higher self, looking for that kind of aha moment, that light bulb, that light switch, okay? That answer. And those answers, when we do get the hanged man energy, the answers all lie within you. But this is... One of those energies, it's not forward movement, it's a little bit of a pause. Okay, card number 12. So that makes that another three. Three, 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 three. Four threes coming out for you guys. Pay very close attention to that. Look up the deeper meaning of three, 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 because that is spirituality, it is creation, it's expansion. Okay, and you have the ability to create the life that you want right now. But again, with that death card energy, it may require making some profound change. All right, so, um, but when, when we have that hanged man, that is about looking at things from all angles, all perspectives, so that you can make a good decision with that two of swords energy. Trust your intuition. Go within. Those answers really do lie within you. Whatever you're trying to decide, whatever, whatever sense of direction that you're looking to go, if you're looking for some change, if you're looking to walk away from something, make improvements about something, advocate for someone, all right? And then once you do that, it puts you in the driver's seat. The chariot energy, your energy, a great sense of self, self-worth, self-confidence, okay? A sense of accomplishment, achievement, giving you the drive, determination to follow your dreams, follow your goals, and it doesn't matter. It's like, eat my road grit, liver lips, right? You're going to leave anything negative in the past, okay? You're moving forward. So you may have been feeling for a while that you've been stuck in one spot, that nothing's been happening for you, that there's not been any growth, not any expansion, and the chariot energy coming out here for you is reminding you that there may be some change required and you may need to make some difficult decisions, okay? Just l make sure you're looking at every single angle, all right, and making sure you're making an informed decision, not a rash decision, and then there you are in the driver's seat, moving forward, victory, success are yours. Spirit and physical in alignment, right? Your material world, your sp spiritual world, all in alignment. You've got good control of your masculine, your feminine, your yin, your yang, all right? And you know where to go. You know what you want. You know where to get it. And you may um, really be taking the required action that you need. So this three of wands energy, some of you may be waiting for the opportunity to come in, but with the chariot, it's like, you know what? Maybe my answer isn't sitting here waiting. Maybe I need to chase it, chase my dreams, chase my goals. All right, take action. And if an opportunity really does come across my path, guess what? I'm going to seize the day. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look at every little aspect of it. And I'm going to make sure that I'm making the right choice and then go for the gold, go for the gusto, that boost of energy that you may have been looking for. Here it is. So wonderful. I love it when your own cards come out in your reading, especially, um, especially in a position like that. All right. Really is very, very profound and powerful. We have bring love into the situation. All right. I'm going to put that right under the Empress. Love, care, compassion, kindness, feminine energy. And this is the new moon in Aquarius energy here. So the Aquarian energy is really very strong. And the Aquarian energy brings hope, optimism, inspiration, also brings healing, brings that kind of rebellious air a little bit, right? Um, also brings the ability to detach from something, okay? It brings innovation, solutions, global thinking when we have Aquarian energy here. So some of you may be thinking of a fresh start, Okay, some of you are certainly having some change that is coming in, but no matter what, okay, no matter how bold you may feel, love, compassion, kindness are how you actually move your way forward, okay? So embrace this full moon energy that we've got here, okay? Embrace the femininity, the emotional side, right? This chariot is like, right? But we have this nice calm energy coming in here also. So that brings you in balance, right? So you've got the energy, but you're also um, in touch with your feminine side as well, that emotional energy there. 
we also have work through your fears. And sometimes we have a fear of change. All right. Sometimes we get stuck in a situation because, you know, it's like the angel we don't know compared to the devil that we don't know, or sorry, the devil we know compared to the angel that we don't know, right? Sometimes we're in a situation where it's not perfect. Um, we may not have a lot of room for expansion, for growth, and yet we kind of stay in one spot. We stay in a situation. We stay in a relationship because sometimes what we know, something in our comfort zone is, you know, a little bit better than the unknown, but sometimes we need to work through that because if things have kind of hit the wall, hit the hit the ceiling, so to speak, right? And you know, there's there's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to nowhere to grow, there's you know, no more opportunities left. And you know, on one level it may feel a little bit comfortable just because it's familiar, but that doesn't actually mean that it's necessarily good. So for some of you, you may really need to face your fears. Okay, um, in order to embrace some change, not everybody loves change. Okay, but again, that could be something within you also, right? Um, if you find yourself needing to advocate for other people, sometimes that, can, that might really freak you out a little bit, right? It might not be anything that you're used to doing. Okay, but this chariot gives you that energy to do that if you do find yourself in that position, but that also gives you the ability to advocate for yourself as well. I'm going to leave that there for you, Cancer. I hope there was messages in here that helped you. Um, hopefully something gave you some wisdom, inspiration, guidance. It may have been a little bit. It may have been the whole thing. But if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.